Sunday, October 4th, 2005, around 12.15 a.m. You can see the moon. There is much less haze. Actually, the moon is more yellowish, golden color. Now, the visibility is quite good. But the haze is still there. It's just that there's uh, less haze now at this time. It's quiet. Most people are asleep. The hum of the air conditioners. A peaceful country. And uh, this is from the view from the third floor. You can see that it's quite peaceful now. As you look down, my neighbors, they do have in the backyard awnings. The other side, the other neighbor on the left even tile the whole backyard. Actually, very few of the Singaporean women are appreciative of a patch of green grass in the backyard. So they prefer to tile it up and make use of the area for washing machines or, or whatever they want to do so that there is no grass and no termites and no scorpions and no little crawlies. So it's very hard to educate a generation to appreciate nature. It's a big piece of green grass. It's not a big piece as you can see. Well, this is what nature is all about. Singaporeans normally live in high rises. 80% so many of them don't really see the greens having lived in the concrete jungles so you can see that's why even in the backyard or even in the front porch they will tile the whole area so it has to uh, have less maintenance well Today's cases, or yesterday's cases, was quite interesting. One is an 85-year-old woman who really loves the schnauzer. The schnauzer came in with blood at the end of urination. And uh, this 85-year-old woman and her mate quickly bring the schnauzer in for Examination. I had the X-ray done, but there were no no stones, radio dense in the X-rays in the bladder or kidney. But the doc just passed one blood of one spot of blood at the end of urination. So I had the urine tested by taking the dog out. Doctor Dana took the dog out, and then the, the dog pee and collected the urine. This is a female spit dog. So the 85 year old woman asked me whether the dog would pass blood if she had been spayed. So I said no, they don't do it. And I asked about her famous son, who is a lecturer in Hong Kong now. Famous son has some, had written some books. He's uh, a journalist, journalist lecturer, journalism, and uh, he had to go to Hong Kong to work. It's uh, just uh, such a pity that uh, always Singaporeans there are some uh, differences in management and uh, and uh, that results in the person leaving the company or job. Many of these things are actually man-made conflicts. For example, there is a case of Auntie Margaret. She 
she and her husband go to Chiang Mai every year to a monastery and for some meditation. But uh, at the last outing, some four years ago, the monk promised her one Buddha statue blessed by him. So when they went there, the organizer, who is a Singaporean, decided not to give her the statue, but to give to his in-law's friend. Now there were three statues, so four, four groups went there. So this organizer, without telling her, and also saying that since she doesn't have Buddhism, has a strong faith, decided to give the statue to the the other party who was not uh, promised anything. So hell broke loose. The monk was aware of this, the head monk, and uh, gave her a small piece of jade during the departure. And uh, after that, according to Auntie Margaret, the organizer and his friend had to go back to Thailand to get another statue and give it to her. I mean, this is really what I mean by man-made conflicts. And, uh, and this will always be there in, as long as one is alive. Whether one works in the government or private sector or even being self-employed, I have one example for myself. Now, this stock came in for snorts of bumps. That was yesterday or day before. And I just gave an injection of vitreous and preg subcutaneously and nothing else. No other injections in the muscles, back, my legs, back leg muscles, anything. The dog was okay walking around and even went to the car. At home, he was okay. And uh, maybe about three hours later, one of his hind legs, the right one, became unable to bear weight. So I asked the owner to come. She said she was working. Then uh, later in the evening, she phoned to say that uh, even the left hind leg was not uh, supporting weight. So I asked her to, to come to the clinic so I can check the dog. Then she said, I don't trust you. So well, since you say that, then I give her a referral since she asked for it. And uh, when she phoned up the referral vet, she was told that the charges of after office hours apply. So she didn't want to go there. She, she wanted me to pay for the fees. And uh, so I said, no, I don't even know what's happened to the dog. The dog was okay when he left the clinic. clinic. It was okay even at home. But she insisted that I had injected the nerve and therefore I should be paying for any treatment. So since she couldn't trust me and she phoned me again, to say that I ought to examine the dog. I mean, in this moment of time, I should have told her, since you don't trust me, please see another vet. But anyway, I went down, there was about 9.30 p.m. And uh, I didn't charge her for the consult. The dog had this pain in the thoracic lumbar area. The dog was paralyzed in the back legs. And uh, so I, I advised her to go to the referral vet or her husband for better treatment and an x-ray as well, as, as well as a second opinion. So the dog was there overnight and given a drip and treatment. X-ray shows no sleep disc according to the vet, the second vet. 
So the next day, next morning, this owner called me again and said that I ought to pay for all the charges of this second vet because I was responsible because the dog was not not paralyzed when he came in and she wanted to prove it so I told her that there was no need to prove anything with her photographs because the dog was not paralyzed at all when, she, when the dog came in and even when the dog went home up to the car and for about two hours at home apparently the owner tried to put eardrops on, onto the dog's ears and uh, the husband held the dog a bit too firmly according to the history during that evening consult and uh, could have sprained or hurt the, the back area since this dog hates ear application. So this will be the likely cause and uh, the, the owner wouldn't accept it. Well, except this is the cause or the likely cause and uh, told me I want to make a complaint. So this is how man-made conflicts escalate due to a refusal to to uh, listen to the other point of view or to have an overall view, but uh, this is the nature of the biodiversity of life. There will be conflicts every day, everywhere, every time. And it's up to the person to manage the conflicts or to prevent it. This may not be possible as uh, everybody has their own point of view. So today is Sunday. October 3 to 15. I'll be going to Yangon on Monday for another five days to attend to a Buddhism ceremony in the Irrawaddy. I hope there will be no haze there, but apparently the place has no drinking water. No. So I, will, I was asked to to help out by donating a machine to to uh, filter the water to make it safe for drinking amongst the Irrawaddy villages. Singapore, October 3 to 0 Sunday morning around 12.30 to 1 a.m.